You're listening to the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080 KSCO. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is the best we've got? Really? No kidding. You're listening to the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080 104.1 FM KSCO. Well, look, when you when you finally were so shocked as your eyeballs widened and you're looking at that poster... And you've sat down, you've thought about it. I mean, and all you're thinking of all the, I don't know how much thought you put into, maybe hours even. Have you hours. come up with any jokes? I haven't slept. Have you come really? up with any material? None. <laughs> That's what I thought. See, you know, the thing is with me, Billy, is that even if I didn't have any material, people just laugh when I walk on stage because I look well, that's like. That's what I'm hoping for. I look like Big that's Bird. That's what I'm yeah. hoping for. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'll, I'll try wearing a funny hat or two that helps. or three yeah, or four. See, this is where alcohol does help, though, because... Uh, exactly, and I don't drink. That's <laughs> my problem. It enhances the laughter when I, I walk I could have done this on a half a Quaalude easily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. We're going to see you out there, yes, Billy? <laughs> yes, kid. All what right. time are you guys going out? We're headed out of here. Uh, um, we're going to get out of here a little early, about 5.30, 5.40-ish. We're going to head out of here. You're going to head up there. Okay, I'll Doors open there. at 6.30. Oh, God. <laughs> and don't forget, it's funny hat night. It's uh, interesting hat night. So th that's that's the theme of the show. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Thank that's you, Billy. Right. Uh, love you, buddy. Billy, see, you, see you in a little bit. I okay. would just like to thank Billy for that call because that last comment he made with that, that, that guttural uh, sigh <laughs> yeah. oh, and those God. words, you know, oh, that's God. that's what every comic feels like for the oh, first yeah. times they're going up. And, and for some of us, they never get over it. I still get a little bit nervous. You know, yeah. I think it's good to get a little bit nervous. But I do miss... The one uh, good going up for the first times when you're doing stand up and you do get a little bit of that abject is just the terror of the uh, you know am I gonna be horrible? Yeah. And Billy, right. you know what? You will be horrible. No, <laughs> you'll be fine. You're, come up and the audience is gonna love that, you. All gonna have what, fun. That's what great. That's what, I love comedy. I love working with comedians, of course, and that's why we do these variety shows because we like comedy and music at the shows I do. So mm -hmm. that's why we're doing these coming up. But uh, it's great to be in a band because when you're on stage and you have six guys behind you, if you mess up, you can just blame it on one of them. That's right. Yeah, that's it works out really great for me. Cause, yeah. Oh, sure. It's all the time. It's much easier. It's much simpler. like, well, it wasn't my fault. It was Dan's fault. He's not the one. He's the one. He's not looking at his guitar. He's looking at uh, yeah. the sky, right. as usual. Right, right, right. But David them, Stolowitz is deep, deep, deep. He's in over here working. He's preparing away there, man. He is preparing he's, What he's tonight. doing is he's going through his set, and he's Xing out every single word that begins with F or S is what he's doing right now. <laughs> well, yes, David, you, you must work clean this. tonight. How much of your material have you salvaged? Can you? How many minutes? Hey, 40 percent of my material is clean thank you very much okay well that's good that's good yeah, that's more enough for five you want to give us a joke uh sure, give me one of those okay yeah oh, just give it one of our famous uh comic uh, right. yeah, yeah, see what david uh chooses Let from the list here dum, 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 dum. you know what's odd on that list there's freddie prince is on yeah, that list was he a stand-up comic wow. yes, yes was he really yeah, i didn't know yeah, that yeah, yeah. Wow! Let's see. At the comedy store, I'm having a flashback in my mind. Wasn't he? Didn't he perform at the comedy store for a while? I think, so. when he, I think when, when he was first starting out, he did start at the comp. I think so. I think we lost the microphone. Here. No, no, it's no, working. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I, when he first started out, he started out uh, in comedy clubs in Los Angeles. I don't know how long he performed as a stand-up before he got that television. Right. Show. I think it was not long. With actually. Jack Albertson, yeah. What was that? Chico and the Man. Yeah. Chico and the Man. Chico and the Man. Everybody right. remembers Jose Feliciano singing the thing. Bago, things will be better. Oh, yes, they will be Chico and the man. Come on, man. Everybody sing. That I don't know that. Is, is that really the theme song? Yeah, Chico and the that. Man. That was remember, uh, Jose Feliciano song. did the theme song oh, okay. for Chico. I know it was a hit back then, but I've tried watching it and I just couldn't watch yeah, it. You know what? A lot of shows from back then are kind of hard to watch. I mean, I know yeah. they were great. I, I know everybody loves Good Times, uh -huh. Good Times. But, yeah. you know, every time I try to watch Good Times in the last couple of years, I'm like, there's so much political... Just oh, stuff, really? and it was all written into the script where yeah. the main character, the dad, it was always like the one being beaten down all the time, or he made the yeah, so right. he could never get ahead. Right. And I was like, this is just so heavy-handed, right? It was just like I think it was a Norman Lear show. He was yeah. always trying to squeeze in that kind of stuff in the script. You yeah, ready yeah, for yeah. It to do a joke? You ready? Well, okay, I love we the, go. okay, yeah, let's go for okay, it. Let's go. All right, let's hear it. I have a lot of growing up to do. I realized that the other day inside my fort. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you said that, David. That's good. Who, I mean, hold on. Let me try to guess who that is. I don't know. Who is that? 
Zach Galifianakis. Oh, okay. Oh, Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, Between two a good one. Galifianakis. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of good times, J.J. Walker. Remember that comic, the J.J. Oh, Walker? Oh, my movie? gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'll see him on late night TV, and he's hawking stuff for that, that, AARP. That, yeah, you know? dude. Oh, and I feel yeah. so, you know, he used to be, well, he's still a funny guy. He, he wouldn't even does stand up, right? But He was funny. I he feel so really bad funny. for him on this commercial that has nothing to do with good times, which aired, what, 50 years ago? Yeah, right. And at one point in the commercial, they make him say his famous line, Dino Might. Dino Might. And like, just God. there's a little bit of sadness oh, in his yeah, eyes. I know. You know? He's, like, Dude, he's, he's going, time to get that yeah. check. Dino Mike. Kind of sick. <laughs> I'm totally unenthusiastic. Dino. I got a mortgage <laughs> payment. Dino Mike. <laughs> Let's take another call. William and Salinas, thank you for the call. You're in the air. Hi, William. William. Yeah, I, th I think you should um, let uh, Billy introduce each one of you because Anybody is going to be funnier after that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the call, William. 479-1080. Thanks, William. And we're going to be performing at the Felton Community Hall. Billy Sunshine's going to be there. Kenny Thomas, Billy Look Army. Who's here? BLT uh, just arrived. BLT Jimmy just Tews showed up. Jimmy, 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 you want to go get on, the, on <laughs> that uh, studio in there? We'll, we'll be able to bring you up from All there. Right. See, Jim knows how to run, run his own oh, yeah. show. So, uh, yeah, Jim Tews just showed up. Wow. Good, good, good. Jim Two is going to be. I don't know if he's going to get on stage. We'll ask him. Dave, right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's great. I, I can't remember any of my material. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Billy? Is this part of your bit? No. I, I thought we agreed. We're just going to rip off other people's jokes. That whole list right there is just what yeah, we're going to no, do. Yeah, no. I mean, that's. I mean, for the live show, I don't. I can't like. I can't remember anything. Well, we, that? I got a couple. Okay, good ones. wait, hold on. Because here's the problem. I wrote down. I wrote down in all seriousness, Bumtown. <laughs> but I don't, the thing is, is that I don't, I don't remember what, the jokes. <laughs> ah, whatever, we'll make it up. <laughs> no, I remember. No, I don't. We'll be fine. Come on out to the show. <laughs> oh boy, are you gonna join? Um, the, are you gonna join us on stage, BLT's Jim? Too? Got jokes. Oh no, man! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to. Hey, it's supposed to be. It's it's supposed to be not blue, right? Right. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. It's supposed to be clean. Yes. And I'm assuming non-political. That's right. Right. And non political. Well, what am I known for? Political well, blue. Yeah, uh, political and, and blue. being lactose right. intolerant. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I try that. not to show my lactose intolerance <laughs> in public. <laughs> well, on stage, it might be quite a show, Jim, if you can make it no, musical. No, you know, except for San Francisco, I could be, I could show my lactose intolerance all the time in San Francisco, <laughs> and they'll just give me some free needles. Hey, Jim, you know, I, I was talking with my daughter. She's reading this book, and and the book is about a girl who has something called synesthesia. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, I do not. I've never so heard th of the term. This is when people. Ooh, ooh, uh, no, Associate. Ooh, ooh, do you, know that you know what that is, Billy? <clears throat> well, you can smell the color three. <laughs> you can smell the color three. Yeah. So th I want whatever Billy's been taking. These are that sounds like some very powerful stuff. These are people who can smell colors. <laughs> okay. And, and they can see they see light when they hear music. So yeah. they associate. Oh, I thought he was. I thought Billy oh. was joking. Okay. No, no, no. This is true. Wow. They, they don't actually smell colors, but they associate mm -hmm. colors with certain smells. Oh. So when they smell oh, okay. something, a, a certain color pops up, and and uh, you know, and so on and so forth. When they hear music, lights. They see lights. Okay. And and I'm thinking, boy, if you smell colors. But what does the ocean smell like? Maybe yeah. blue, right? I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. But what yeah. would downtown Santa Cruz, what colors would you... <laughs> <laughs> what colors would... Brown, <laughs> what brown, colors brown and yellow. <laughs> brown and yellow, right? Yeah, you're, like, you're in yellow and... Uh, you're well, yellow. there may be some, some red And bovine scat brown. How's that? <laughs> bovine scat brown. I thought, man, you know... <laughs> see, again, I couldn't go on, on stage. I would offend all the little kids. And I'm assuming, you know, there's a bunch of people who are of a different political persuasion than me, so I'd offend all... I'd trigger them. I'm just a walking microaggression and trigger. <laughs> <laughs> what does overpriced housing smell like? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. <laughs> uh, patchouli? Yeah, patchouli? <laughs> <laughs> like a head shop. 479 yeah. <laughs> Do we have any more jokes on this? Pretense oh, do we? Uh, do we have any more jokes yeah. on this? Let's see. Let's now, see Jim we look, Jim Two's here. I never get to talk to him. Take, so why don't you go take him a hey, list of jokes? There. I can pick your yeah, brain for a second. I'll, I'll go in there. I'll go in there. Okay. Jim Two, you love superheroes and comic books and things like that, right? Now, if you were a superhero, what what would be your oh. superpower, Jim Two? Oh, I, I got in trouble for this when I was asked this. Oh, you did? Where? On, here at the station? Oh, no. I was, I was doing a community access skit. Oh boy. And uh -huh. so we were we were doing a fake interview, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, I just improved it 
And so my fake interview was I was coming out as the secret identity of another superhero. And it's like, what superhero secret identity are you? And my secret identity was the Iron Colon. The Iron Colon. (laughs) And see, my secret power is I could shoot either diarrhea or solid scat out of my butt. And so I could fly by just shooting a huge stream of diarrhea. And, of oh. course, everyone got really grossed out, but I was just doing it for shock value. And they said, well, who's, who's, your, who's your mortal enemy? Jeez. And, no, no, Captain Constipation. <laughs> <laughs> and X-Lax was my kryptonite. This came right off the top of your head? X-Lax yeah. was your kryptonite. Holy Christmas. Yeah. But, again, I, I can't go on stage because <laughs> it, it, I'm too blue and I'm too conservative. So that, you know, oh. that, 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 so that'd be my superhero, Captain Colon. I love that. And, I, love the that. Iron and Iron I also Colon. love the fact that, that, that really your, uh, what do they call that when the superhero, his, the thing that brings him down, his Achilles heel. Yeah. His Achilles heel, his <laughs> kryptonite. Yeah, 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 yeah. That basically your weakness would be, you know, an upset stomach. No, and, fiber. Yeah. A high fiber <laughs> diet. Okay. You know, I, so so um, I think there's going to be a lot of people out there. We don't know if the Corn Man is going to be out there, but I was wondering, I know. you know, Corn Man kind of sounds like a superhero name. Yeah. Jim, what, corn type, man. what type of superpower do you think Corn Man would have? <laughs> uh, corn Man? Um, oh, he, he, would give all, he would give all the um, attractive single women bunions. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre, Jim. What the hell? Because they're corns. <laughs> okay, do it as Johnny Carson. Oh, my God. Uh, Johnny Carson. Say it as Johnny Carson. I, I, I can't do any. The only impersonation Kenny's I can do Kenny's with Kenny's any it. decency is probably Bill Clinton is what I was told. Really? Oh. And he'd be like, yeah, how you doing there, Dave? And, and, and I could do Bill Clinton, Clinton too. Yeah. You guys are pretty good. I'm down, I'm down at Pebble Beach. I'm, I'm hitting a few holes here, you know, That's pretty at good, the man. golf course. Not necessarily the women in Santa Cruz, who I hear are all I like very the way lovely. You think. I like that you're on point, I love to hit too. those holes, too, but I can't say that on the air. As I'm president. You know what I'm saying? You're the kind of gentleman that should run for president of the United States. That's right. Jim, too, is on Jim, you're good at this, dude. No, okay. no, no, no. Trust me. I would get in so much okay. trouble. Oh, my gosh. They'd shut the place <laughs> down, and, I, and then, of I like- course, they'd call the cops on me, and I'd, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd go back to prison again. <laughs> again. <laughs> what do you got, Kenny? Okay, I'll, you do, got? I'll do one of these impersonations. All right, all right. You guys will totally know who this is. Hey, my wife is always trying to get rid of me. Last night, she told me to put the garbage out. I told her I already did. She told me to go keep an eye on it. That's Rodney Dangerfield. That's dangerous. Rodney Dangerfield. Of course. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Hey, I tell you. I looked up the word ugly in the dictionary. Here's a picture of my wife. <laughs> I don't like these. Those some, wife turns, some, it needs a little bit more on the delivery, right? You have to have a little suspense. Uh, yeah. uh, let's let's, break, let's yeah. get with some phone calls here. I, I'm checking my text messages, and it says, Will Smith resigned from the Academy of Motion Pictures. Oh, wow, that really? Mean? What does that mean? Does that mean anything? It means he's no longer an academy. He's no member. longer, he's no longer yeah. a member. But that doesn't mean that he's still not in the... I'm sure he's still in the union. He's just not a, an active board member, meaning he can't vote on certain things. Oh, okay. Yeah, plus yeah. I, have to give, I have to give all those people uh, props. They really are committing to this bit. You keep thinking bit? it's a bit. What do you I think? Know, yeah, yeah. How do you oh, think? Can you think it was a bit? It's a no, I know. Slap. I know. I heard Jim talking about that the other day, and uh, uh, I I think it was absolutely real, but it was just very odd. It was just very one of the oddest things I've ever seen. Nah, and and the latest thing is that the police actually did go backstage to talk to Chris to see if he wanted to press charges, mm-hmm. and he said no. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just it's a very odd. That was one of the weirdest things. I know there's been weird things on the. I don't watch the Oscars anyway. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of one movie yeah. that was nominated. I just don't care about that stuff anymore. I right. stopped caring about that stuff like 30 years ago. And that's why they had the bit. Now you're right, so that I'm going to start to care about it. But, yeah. you know, if I want to watch two people slap each other, I'll just go down here, you know, in front of Starbucks and wait, you know. <laughs> this is like <laughs> this is sooner or later, you What know. happened on Sunday night was like professional wrestling with better actors. With much better actors. Yeah, I honestly believe, though, what I honestly oh, believe. Jim, I, I honestly don't, believe this. I don't, I don't know why so. I believe. I don't think I think that Chris Rock honestly did not know that she had alopecia. I, I don't really think he did, did either. I don't be- think he did. I don't think he did either. And, and actually, maybe he even did. Because I'll tell you what, I have a friend who has alopecia. And nobody has said this too, on the yeah. news. But the reality is, guess what? It's not a deadly disease, people. You just go bald. You have no hair in your deal. entire body. I have a friend that's so deal with that. That's what I that, say. The idea that it was even that insulting, the joke, it really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was that's a why very, I think it was very a bit. minor yeah. Yeah. joke. That's why I think it was a bit. It's the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080. KSCO. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz.